Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm going to be cutting through some 10 millimeter clear acrylic. Uh, this is cast acrylic. Um, I don't actually have a milliamp meter installed on my machine. Um, so all I can tell you is that this is an 80 watt uh, CO2 laser um, and it's the Viva brand. Um, I think it's probably equivalent to maybe like an Omtech, but I guess each one's different, but hopefully this will be enough to at least, um, you know, give a bit of an idea. Um, so the first one that I'm going to cut is going to be at 10 millimeters a second and at 40% power. Um, I don't expect that to cut all the way through because that's my setting for cutting, um, you know, three to four mil uh, ply or MDF uh, usually. So, um, but nonetheless, I just wanted to run that and see what that would do. Uh, the second one here, the square that I'm cutting is again 10 millimeters a second, but this is at 60% power. And again, I don't think that will cut through. Um, so I'm just going to go through and try a couple of different ones, um, see what works, see whether I can get it done in one pass or whether it requires two passes and then have a look at those edges to see what they look like once it is cut. So as you can see there, um, I mean, you can kind of really see there that it's only gone, gone in a couple of mil, uh, which was expected. Um, so again, I'm just gonna probably up the power to 80% and I'll run this file again and see how, and see how that one turns out. Alright, so this one here is going to be a circle and this one's going to be at 10 millimeters a second and at 80% power. So again, I don't think that this is going to cut through judging by the 60% power one there that I just did. Uh, but nonetheless, I still wanted to run it to see if we can see a bit of a difference. And so looking at that, um, you can see that is a little bit deeper. Um, not, a, not a great deal, I don't think. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slow the speed down. So I'll go and set up another setting and pop back. Okay, so this one here is going to be five millimeters a second at 80% power. So it's going to be half the speed of the previous one that I just did, um, but with the same amount of power. So this one should be um, a noticeable difference in, in, this, um, in this one. that up so as you can see there that is running a little bit slower and again that's at five millimeters a second with 80 percent power you can actually see there that it's it's actually going through a fair bit i'm just from slowing it down um, let me pull this out and have a look so yeah you can definitely see that that has made a big difference um, still doesn't come out but it's pretty close so I'm gonna slow down the speed a bit more and try again all right so coming back on this one I'm gonna do two millimeters a second at 80% power so two, two millimeters a second is quite slow but I'm pretty confident that this one's gonna cut through um, judging by the five millimeters a second at 80%. So this is two, two millimeters a second at 80%. And as you can see, it is quite slow, but you can see that it's getting through it. So I'll let this run out and pop that out and have a look. and you can feel there that that has gone through it's just stuck on that little part there i'll pop that out and there we go okay so 10 millimeter cast acrylic two millimeters a second 80 percent power and this is it so the edges don't look too bad um, again, I've not really cut anything as thick as this. This is the thickest thing that I've cut on my machine. I normally stick to the, uh, you know, th three mil to six mil 
uh, MDF and plywood and acrylic. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to try some and see some 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 of this and see how that would turn out. So again, um, yeah, two millimeters a second, 80% power, and it has cut all the way through. So I'm going to have another go here, and I'm going to try and do two passes at five millimeters a second. So I'm going back to five millimeters a second with 50% power and I'm going to do two passes and see how that turns out. So again, the last one there, two millimeters at 80% with one pass and that did cut that out. And this one here, you'll see it'll go around again and do a second pass. Now this is at 50% power and five millimeters a second. So I just want to see if this one cuts out and then maybe have a look at the sides and see what the difference is to two passes as opposed to just going through one pass. Ah, so there we go, that dropped straight out there. So that's pretty good. So that's that's two passes on that one. And again, the edges, they look okay. I'm not really sure as to, uh, you know, what's good and what's not, I mean, but that looks pretty good to me. It does have a little ridge around the bottom side of it there. Um, but I will, yeah, it looks pretty clean in there too. Yeah, that's good though. I'm happy with that. That's good to know. Uh, so I might just run it, run it again, just to make sure that that's what we're going to get. And then we'll just have a look at the sides, um, just to make sure that, uh, well not to make sure, but just to check out which I guess is a cleaner, a cleaner cut, the, the one pass or the two pass. So again, I'm just going to run this one here. Again, two passes, five millimeters a second with 50% power. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to, uh, when it comes to the power, I, you know, less power is obviously better for me to prolong the life of the tube. So uh, if I can cut through this 10 mil acrylic in two passes, then I'd be happy to do that as long as the edges uh, come up good. Um, but once I get this one cut out now, we'll just have a quick look and see whether or not um, it's a better edge on one pass or two passes. So I'll just let this cut out. Okay, again, you can see that drop out, so it's obviously getting through there quite well. And it's such a tight fit. That's amazing. Okay, so again, looking at the edge, looks pretty good. It does have a bit of a, a ripple along the bottom side of the acrylic. Um, but I'm just gonna grab, let's look at that there. But I mean, it look, overall, it looks pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. I'd definitely be happy with that. So we'll grab this other one, and um, I'll just have a look and see which one, I guess, is the best. It's a bit hard to see. So the one on the left is the two passes. The one on the right is the one pass. And so just to confirm, the one on the right with the one pass, that was at two millimeters a second and 80% power. And the one on the left there, as I said, was five millimeters a second with 50% power and two passes. So anyway, guys, hope the uh, video might help someone out or give anyone a bit of an idea.